What's up, everybody? My name is Lehu, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehu Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Suki Michi. If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon. Link to that is below. We are reacting to Suki Michi episode 9. It is called Eat or Be Eaten. Last episode, we saw Mio at the entrance of a forest. For the ambrosia and such i'm wondering if the eat or be eaten is going to be related to that with man eating things hip thieves combination of a pipsqueak and a thief red lotuses i'm a Assuming that is the ambrosia. What you guys doing? Oh, he doesn't get affected by the status effect stuff. Is he immune? Is it because of his mana? So cute. It's cute that they have their same reaction at the same time. Look at that! Huh. So, Tomoe said that she can feel the pat on the head of Tomoe's fragment. I wonder if that's going to come up later on. Like if something happens to Tomoe's fragment, Tomoe is going to feel it. <laughs> I like how... When Mia's trying to do couple stuff, she gets thwarted. <laughs> and she's cute. See, she's tending the woods. She's saying it so scientifically. She's tending to the woods, not guardians, and not <laughs> policing. Oh! They actually are doing stuff outside of researching. I like how they are being more hands-on on subjects. She's so cute. What up? Liddy. His name is Liddy. for the demi plane rankings in a month. <laughs> Somebody's coaching him. Eat, drink, and be merry, y'all. Uman Town. H Y U M A N. I think the subtitles are going to be. Fixed later on. I've been noticing that. Suffocating. What you talking about? They're so free here. Seemingly, seemingly endless land.
in this paradise. His paradise. You think there's going to be a religion about this demiplane? Like, the demi-humans are going to talk about the demiplane and say, Oh, yes, go to the Messiah. Not Messiah. Go, go to paradise where you're going to be safe. Or a land that you're going to be free. Because there is something like that in some stories, right? It looks like Makoto is going to expand his business. The dwarf asked what humans in the outside, outside of the demi plane, what kind of weapons they like. And here we go. Talking about the illusory city where they give out weapons. <laughs> if you guys ever watch this with audio, this guy is adorable. He has like a small voice coming from out from this big body. Oh, the creature is tending to the plants. <laughs> the species tending to the plants. I like how she said, communicate facts. Let the master judge. They are panicking. Something happened with their contract connection. Oh. Amoy is sweating, yo. She's so angry. Died countless times. Right, but he's alive. <laughs> he's going into Jesus step by step. <laughs> your actions cause your consciousness to waver you dis you appear to blend into the surroundings oh clearing his mind assimilating into everything between myself and the target oh this is him clearing his mind Diffuse their consciousness when they die. She's such a crybaby. You would think that she would get angry. Oh, she's so sensitive. His man is increasing. Ooh, it looks like his mana is unlimited. I like how there is like a pixel RPG in the background. Just from shooting the bow and clearing his mind, he's experiencing death and rebirth.
This current mana level is overflowing with demon kings. <laughs> but it's on the level of the goddess instead. They're really detailed in the section here. It's like they're setting up a foundation for what's going to happen later on. And us viewers, we're going to be like... Oh yeah, they said something like that in the last, in that episode once upon a time. Oh dear! Yeah, we don't want the goddess to notice him. That we watch. All right, so it seems what they said was because Makoto's mana is growing, it's causing an effect on the demi plane, expanding it, and he's. Having a stronger influence on the demi plane to the point where the sky is resembling the sky from his previous world. Yep, you're never bored with this, master. Mm hmm. You don't have to be, you don't have time to be bored. Got no time to be bored. I got lots of time to be bored. <laughs> I wish I didn't have time to be bored. Oh, here we go. An opportunity to do couply things I could attend to you tonight. And he's like, oh, no, you don't have to. You can get some rest. He's totally oblivious what she meant. You, the young master. Mm-hmm, boy. Yes, she's talking about sleeping with you, fool. Man, he could have lost his virginity a long time ago in this world. Oh ho ho! A fateful encounter. Oh, he does look like that person, creature. How interesting. I thought he just had plain looks. Suspicious. Service. <laughs> I I find it interesting that this episode he's finally opening his eyes to these um um these situations. Oh. Inexperienced late bloomer. <laughs> He's like, weren't you watching? Are they going to do it? Oh, you love them like family. Oh. They got family zoned. <gasps> oh, I like how assertive they are. Oh, my. 
do it, do it, do it, do it. Whoa. They're restraining him? Oh, no. That is so... Pink mist and spider silk. Um. Don't be sorry. You gotta make a, make sure it goes through his thick skull. What you try? Oh, the jewels. They're red now. She so tends to the ambrosia flowers. Go together like a date meal. Generic forest. Hey, 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 that chick, wasn't she the, the prostitute? Wow, these are being well kept. Old handsies. Handsies. Oh, this looks romantic. Humans. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna change that later on from H Y U M A N to H U M A N. Who's gonna fight who? She's so goofy. Oh, 
Oh, she's a skeevy person. She lets people do the work and then she sweeps in and takes all the... The rest of the stuff. Oh, there's a term for that. Mm-hmm, he deflected them. What's going on? Really? That's how the episode ends? Showing that look? Why do the shows do that where they... Give a hint of what the next episode is going to be about, but they showcase a bit of the person, creature, thing that is going to show up on the next episode. Dungeon of Black Company does that a lot. But anyways, this was a interesting episode. Like, I feel like they were just giving us a lot of information most of the time. Kind of creating a foundation for what's about to happen or something that will happen in the future. For example, talking about expanding the business, mana, increasing mana, semi-plane expanding, illusory uh, city, homeways fragment, the, what is it called, the development of Mio, Tomoe, and Makoto. And when I mean development, I mean Makoto opening his eyes to S-E-X. <laughs> um, it's interesting. And then this last episode, not last episode, the ending of this episode, it showed the prostitute that we saw in the middle of the episode that came on to Makoto, and we were like, suspicious. Now we know why it was suspicious. She kind of targeted him. And I'm not too sure how or why. Like, did she know he was going to go for the ambrosia flowers? If she did, how did she know? And I really don't like how she was like, okay, all of these ambrosia flowers are ours. When it's like, girl, you got to take some and leave others so they can propagate and make more. And like, selfish oh my gosh but the other thing was she was expecting Makota to fight the species that tend to the ambrosia flowers and after he defeats them she was gonna like reap the rewards I'm like this oh I don't I really don't like this chick I have a bad 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 feeling about her mm. But besides that, what did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash who is superfina. People watch these videos, do stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Tsukimichi episode 9. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.